Look, I know it may be tempting to go buy all the new little shinies when it comes to your new Xbox Series X, but if you're like most of us and you're on a budget, then it may not be the best idea to go run out and also buy all of the little accessories that you may eventually want for your new Series X. So in today's video, I'm going to show you three different Xbox Series X accessories that you don't need to buy right away. Welcome back everybody, my name is Wayne. Thank you so much for being here. And if this is your first time here, I make videos just like this one to simplify your gaming experience. As I mentioned before, you may be really excited that you've got your new Xbox Series X and you're looking at what you can buy next. And as you may have seen in a recent video of mine where I go over five accessories that you must buy for your Xbox Series X. In today's video, I'm actually gonna flip that around and I'm gonna tell you three items that you shouldn't buy right away when it comes to your Xbox Series X so that you can kind of save up for that because it's not exactly necessary even though you may want to get it right away. And the first thing that you're going to want to stay away from buying right away is actually going to be the Seagate expansion card that you can buy specifically for the Xbox Series X. This is the only way that you can actually upgrade your hard drive space when it comes to buying Xbox Series X games. However, they're just really, in my opinion, not that large of a selection out there yet to where you really have to have this Seagate expansion card uh, in order to uh, fill up your hard drive. And, you know, unlike the PS5, where you only get 800 gigabytes of hard drive space, and after the operating systems on there is even less. On the PS5 I have for my business, I was only able to get like five games on there, and it is frustrating that I can't add any more. And the same will eventually happen to you on the Xbox Series X, uh, but it is a larger hard drive, so you should be able to get a few more games on there. So, why shouldn't you go ahead and buy this though? The reason you shouldn't buy this is because if you already have a hard drive that is on your Xbox One, you can simply um plug that from that Xbox One and then directly plug that into your Xbox Series X and you'll have all of your Xbox One games and all of your previous 360 games that are backwards compatible. Any games that don't require you to be an Xbox Series X version of the game can be put onto that hard drive. Now you also can use that hard drive to store those Xbox Series X games and then just transfer them back over whenever you want to play those games. Guys, if you need some more information about this particular a process then make sure you check out the video here listed in the card so either way in my opinion this is not something that you need to buy immediately right away i think you can hold off on this and hopefully you know seagate and xbox will have come out with a larger expansion card and make it maybe a little bit more affordable because it's over 200 dollars right now just for a one additional terabyte of hard drive space now it is a good card it is something i would recommend eventually getting but right away let's hold off and just use your xbox one uh, external hard drive if you already have one of those okay and that's going to lead us to the second item that i think you should hold off on buying and that is going to be a new pair of headphones now what you can do again the same idea if you have an xbox one and you have a headset for that already simply take that with you take it off of the xbox one controllers put it right into your new controllers with the xbox series x or if you have a nice wireless one simply just pair it to your new xbox series x and you're good to go you don't have to spend any more additional money to buy a new pair of headsets but what happens if you you know have a headset but it just recently broke on you and you want something new for your series x uh, you know, but you don't have the budget. So what you could do is grab your cell phone, open up your Xbox app, and then you can actually play the games remotely through your Xbox app and you can hear the games if you need to, or even chat if that's the more key. Maybe you play your games through your speakers, but you wanna have a way to chat with your friends still. You could use the Xbox app to it minimally, chat with your friends on the app. But if you really wanted to and you're in a pinch, you could always use the app for your game sound as well. All right, guys, and so that's gonna lead us to the third item that I think you should hold off on buying. And as you opened up your Xbox Series X and you put the controllers in your hand, you probably felt that it was a little light, and that's because there still are no internal batteries on the new Xbox Series X controllers. And so you might be thinking, well, now I have to go buy some batteries. Uh, I need to go buy a new battery pack so that it can fit into my Series X controller. And the good news is, guys, you actually do not need to do that. If you already have an Xbox One controller with the battery pack in that, you can simply take that out of that controller and put it right here into your new Xbox Series X controller. I've done the exact same thing. This is probably a four or five year old battery pack, maybe even older, that I used to have on my Xbox One controllers. I simply took it out put it in here, works fine, works like a charm. And the nice thing is the Xbox Series X controller has a USB-C uh, port for charging your controller. 
uh, but you can just simply use that port from your Xbox to charge even this older battery. So you guys don't have to immediately run out and buy a new battery pack. If you do want to just use one that you already have, then simply just go ahead and put that in there and you are good to go. Now, before you go, you may have caught on to a, a simple common theme here uh, over all three of these items. And that is the fact that all three of these items were previously something that you could have been using on your Xbox One. And so as Xbox has stated, they want to make continuing gaming from the Xbox One to the Xbox series x as easy as possible so almost all of the xbox one uh, generation equipment is going to be transferable over to your xbox series x guys so when you're looking at different things around your house that you already have on your xbox one make sure you can't use that on the xbox series x first before you go out and buy something new and that will kind of help you keep from spending a lot of extra money at least in the beginning like i said as things break down you are going to need to eventually place some of these things but you know it costs 500 something dollars, almost $600 when you first figure in buying the new Xbox Series X with your taxes and if you have it shipped or anything like that. So, you know, save a little bit of money at first, use the things that you can from the Xbox One over to your Xbox Series X. And I think you guys will find that there's going to be a lot of those items and that you don't have to go out and spend a lot of additional money, guys. So I really hope you found this information valuable today. And if you did so, please make sure you leave a thumbs up for us. And as always, folks, I will see you in the next one.